Hey, your viewers and viewers, is my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Industria. This is episode 6, and we're here in the train station. There's this big locomotive here, which is all conveniently ready to go by the looks of it. So, we were in the uh, town hall last time, clearing out the robots, finding stuff out. There's a note over here for us to take a look at. What does this say? Journal of Joseph Oswald, 3 of 5, uh, 21st of April 1993. I managed to talk to a few people's representatives and convinced all of them to vote against further industria projects. We are all concerned that the dangerous encounters with Atlas, as Rosendahl calls them, are connected with the big machine in the Institute and not with Wevelstadt, as Rosendahl, uh, Rosendahl states. We have good chance to chat. God, I can't speak. Good chance to shut down the machine if we manage to find more people who are against Rosendahl's politics. Since November last year, I regularly find more of these caged birds in my apartment. And what I, what I do, they appear out of nothing overnight. I don't know what to do about this. Interesting. Okay, so now there's an immediate connection to the real world, to real Berlin. <laughs> there you go. So Rosendahl is doing something, trying to protect this world against Atlas or whatever. Oh, we're gonna, looks like we're going to be actually in this train in a second. I wonder how that's going to play out, if it's just going to be like a sort of, um, you know, little cutscene where it sends you, um, you know, you just sort of, it just shows you the character travelling or whether actually we're going to be fighting on the train or something, I don't know. Let's actually get a look at this fucking locomotive. I always love a good locomotive model in video games. Look at that fucking beauty though. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I like how the sort of paintwork on it's flaking as though it is old and it has been here a while. Okay, no longer any steam coming out the funnel, which uh, is curious, but uh, sure. Okay, all right, come on, let's get on board, see what the old deal is. At least the firebox is all lit. All, all right. right, I'm good to go. Good. Well, you find your way out of there, you know, I think I might go put the kettle on. Well, well it's good for so you. nice to know that someone's got your back. You're welcome. <laughs> just says, you're welcome. All right, do we uh, activate? Oh, God. Are we driving this thing? Are we actually driving this thing? Okay, you, uh... Go. Oh, I hear noise. What do I do now? Oh, God, do I have to, like, hit several controls or something? Oh, are we moving? I think we are very slowly. Okay. We can go into the tender, though. Look at this. Oh, God, we are moving. Oh, my God. All right. Me thinks there's going to be all kinds of robots who are going to cause trouble here. This is awesome, though. Look at this. All right. I'm if I... All right, I'm pressing use again, but nothing's happening. Hot damn. Oh, we're just going to go into the tunnel, then maybe hit a loading screen or something. Won't be surprised if that's the case, but we'll see. So we're going north. Out of the town towards the coast. Yeah, it's a loading screen. Ah, dang it. I thought maybe there'd be a level actually on the train, fending off robots. Well, you never know. Who knows? Let's see. Let's see what comes after this loading screen, ladies and gentlemen. That was a quick one. Okay. Oh, my UI's in. Oh. Oh, we're back here. In the library. Got to go back to the theatre then, I guess. Got to look at all this, though. All these friggin' globes, and so many of them. <laughs> it looks like uh, this this library, they had a bit of a surplus of globes. Someone uh, was filling out the order form for globes, and they accidentally put uh, an extra zero. And yeah, and the falling figure. I forgot about that. God, what is this place all about? It's going to fall down in a second again, right? Hold on. Yep, there it goes. Let's get a better view of that, if we can. Hmm. Who is that that's falling? It's so weird. It's so surreal. Which is why I'm freaking digging it. Okay, here it comes. Oh, God, no, that's two figures this time. Weird. Okay, if you want to try pausing the video on that, um, on that figure to see if you can get any details, then go ahead. And as usual, letters that are just full of gibberish. Right. I think we probably have to find the door, don't we? That um, takes us towards where the theatre is located. It's over there, isn't it? Hang on, I'm just going to want to explore up here, because I don't think we've been up here towards the globe level before. Is there anything else to find? Not by the looks of it. Yes, I imagine, I don't know, this is all in Nora's head, maybe, but... Not sure. Again, just another letter of absolute nothingness. Okay, curious. Very spooky. All right, let's get to the door, let's get to the theatre and see what the deal is. What are we going to see next? 
it's going to show us more people floating around. And that sort of ambience in the background is a bit unsettling as well. There's that weird screaming sound. Very unsettling. And then it goes silent. Yep. Because we've been through here so many times before. Well, I say so many times. It's only like twice, but... Uh, <laughs> right, what do you got? What's on the crazy theatre tonight, everyone? Dude comes in from the right holding something. If only I had my sniper scope, I could actually watch him more closely. What do you got down there, mate? What are you, what are you actually holding? It looks like one of those spheres with the holes in it that we've been seeing everywhere. So these theatres are probably showing us the backstory in terms of what Walter was doing, perhaps. I wonder if that's it. If it's going to be like a sort of unconventional storytelling type situation where you just have to go back over all the theatre segments and then maybe just work out or interpret what it is that they're showing you. Alright, so he's gone over... Oh, and it gets bigger. Yeah, see, look, it's one of the sphere things. Okay. So is that sort of like a metaphor for what Walter has been creating? The Atlas program, maybe it got bigger and bigger. He just created some sort of, I don't know, like an AI that's now... Oh god, who knows? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure the game will maybe wrap things up. Or not, who knows? Maybe they'll leave it all up to our interpretation. Alright, through into the white void and back to reality. Certain weapons may stop enemies in their tracks. Use it to your advantage. Well, a shotgun is very good for that, but yes. One quick blast up close usually deals with them. Unless it's a freaking bomb bot, in which case you want to take them down from a distance. Right, back on the locomotive. Here we are. Oh, just let it load in. Okay, we're going through this tunnel. It's very dark. Achievement unlocked. The crossing. Ah, looks like we're coming back out into uh, the open here. Oh, what a nice, smooth little train ride this has been. Or locomotive ride, I should say. Actually, we might not be done with it just yet. Okay. For a second, that tree there hadn't quite... <laughs> its textures haven't quite rendered properly, but luckily it's there now. All right. Gosh, where are we going? Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. Oh, crap. I accidentally pressed Q by accident. Of course. Well, that's fine. Hey, do you read me? Looks like the gates are closed. Are they? Oh, over here. Yes, I do. Actually, you know, I just realised I'd better get back to work. Do what, you don't know the name of your queen? I am unbelievably sorry. Your highest of highnesses. <laughs> now tell me your name or I won't tell you how to get over that gate. I'm Nora. Nora Rosendahl, I guess. Nice to meet you, Queen Nora from a different place. I am Brent, your only subject. At your service. Brent, okay. There's a control room above the gate there. You have to cross the beach and some buildings behind it to reach it. Of course. Right. Um, there's something else, Nora. What is it? I, uh, I used to live here, you know, before the war. When Atlas came and... Hakovic was evacuated. I was wounded and treated in the city centre hospital. There's an invisible wall there, just stopping me going back, that's fine. Oh, I look at the big barges. Left behind. Oh, Brent, I'm so sorry. You don't need to be. I just, um, I was hoping that you would take something with you to the sea. Of course, anything. Is it far off my trail? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's on the way. Just look for a blue apartment building with a greenhouse on the roof. Okay, the blue apartment building, greenhouse on the roof. Will right. do. I'll keep an eye out. All right, we will do. God, he does take too, he does take very long to say his line sometimes, this guy. He's probably so old. He's an old dodderer. Right, well, we had our little uh, nice, smooth, relaxing train ride. And now we're here this area. So I'm kind of wondering, you know, how much uh, more of this game there is um, at this point. Oh, really? My ammo for, what, my pistol is full? Okay, that's interesting. I think that's the first time we've ever had full reserve ammo on the pistol, not going to lie. Alright, so we have to go down onto the beach, that's what it said, and then through some of the buildings. 
in order to actually get to the control room. But in the meantime, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. Blue apartment building with greenhouse on roof. Don't forget that, folks. Blue apartment building with greenhouse on roof. Blue apartment building with greenhouse on roof. It's like freaking donkey in the original Shrek, isn't it? Blue flowers, red thorns. Blue flowers, red thorns. <laughs> There's a reference, God. I have not. There's been many, many years since I saw the first Shrek film. I think it's been years since I saw any Shrek film, to be honest. Um, okay, here's a box. Break. Give me that. Rifle cartridges, just one. But that's fine. Oh, can I... Wow. God, that was loud. Didn't actually smash that jar, but... Wow. If only you could break them, eh? Well, whoever these people who lived in this world are, they sure make their glasses and jars very tough, don't they? Hit it with a pickaxe and nothing happened. Alright. Shotgun shells. Good. God, we're getting so many of them, it's great. Uh, hang on, there was another box over there. Can we get down there? It's like a ladder or something. Maybe I can just drop down and then go back. Ow. Okay, well that hurt a little bit, but never mind. Uh, pistol rounds don't need bollocks. There's another box over here. This one probably has uh, something good in it. There's an extra health pot. And just more pistol rounds that we don't actually require. Okay, I could probably actually just wander through these piles, couldn't I? Rather than dropping down from there and wasting a bit of my health, but never mind. The red solution, ladies and gentlemen, is always to use the most complicated solution when there's easily a simple solution staring you in the face. The red solution, ladies and gentlemen, remember that. Always take the red solution. Where there is a simple way, always take the complicated and unnecessary one. <laughs> ah, can I go over there? Oh. oh, this feels like secret territory, this does. Hello, hello. Is this going to lead me somewhere? Somewhere... Oh, no, just an invisible wall. Never mind, can I go down there? Ooh. Oh, I feel like I could, but do I want to? That's the question. If I drop down here, I feel like it's going to take a bit of my health, and then if I jump down there, it's probably going to take my health as well. Okay, YOLO. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Can I go over there? Oh, God, I can go over there. Do I want to go over there? I don't think I do. I don't... Th oh. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, because I'm kind of clipping through that. Yeah, this is... I think I've found an area where I'm not supposed to be. I think I might be out of bounds a bit here. This doesn't feel right. Oh, God. Okay, no, there's an invisible wall. Is there an invisible wall? Oh! I died. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Let's just go back to the auto save. Okay, yeah, that's... Um, I think I just found an area there where you can escape the boundaries of the map and you're not supposed to be. Uh, can you load game, please? Oh, God. This, this game has a funny thing, though, sometimes. When, like I said in the last episode, where for some reason when you go to load and save screens, it, screens, it just like freaks out momentarily, locks up for a moment. You just have to wait for it to friggin' unfreeze, to put it that way. Bit weird, but uh, what can you do? All right. Any time today, game, if you'd like to bring up the load, um, the load menu, that would be very, very nice. Right, we're back in. Okay, God. Jesus, the game freaked out on that bloody loading screen then. It just, like, was locking up constantly. It got there eventually, but Jesus Christ. Devs, if you're watching, that might be something you do need to uh, just pay a bit of attention to. See if you can uh, resolve that particular issue. All right, let's not go over there this time. Also, devs, if you are watching, you know, just bear in mind, the player can escape the map over in that direction, so you might want to put another invisible wall in over there just to prevent them from doing any such thing. All right, where are we going here? Are we going on this hoist or whatever it is? We're going up. Okay. Up and into the building. Also, I did get a journal entry, which I didn't look at before. I need to find a way to open the gates. Also, Brent has asked me to recover a photo from the rooftop of his old apartment building. So, remember, blue building, greenhouse on top. Blue building, greenhouse on top. Blue building with the greenhouse on top. We'll find it eventually, don't you worry. Okay, there's a checkpoint there, which is the good news. Looks like we're going in there. That looks ominous, unless we can just go in through this way instead. Oh, there's a typewriter. I mean, I don't know why the typewriter's here, considering we just had a freaking autosave there. Hostile sightings, 18th of the, uh, November 1988. Dear Sir Van Jonasson, mm -hmm. yesterday I received the news that about 10 kilometres north of Hakovic, more of these hostile steel machines have been spotted. Forest workers were on their way home in the early evening when they saw three to four of these things. Later that day, witnesses told us about blue, bright flashes of light in the woods, but could not give any exact details. There's no trace of the forest workers. 
Um, this is now the fourth case within a week. I'd like that to be cleared up. Maybe Vevelstadt is responsible for it, and we are made a fool of. Do you have any suggestions? Respectfully, Eugen, Car uh, Eugen Carlson, Defence Minister. Okay. Interesting. So they've been at war with the machines, basically. That's what they're saying. It's Terminator, except if the Terminators were all very ramshackle. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, this is dark. I hear the robots already. They're knocking around somewhere. Um, keep your eyes peeled for boxes we can smash. Uh, nothing over there, no. At least we're full on the old health pots, though. That's the good news. Alright. Ah. SMG? Yeah, SMG rounds. Is that a note? Okay, I thought it was a note. Stuck to the underside of that table, but... Nope. Okay. It's not over there. Another health pot? Oh god. I don't like it sometimes when my uh, flashlight flickers like that. What's that? Is that another health pot? Wow. Another health vial, I should Friend? say. No, health pot. I've just entered that big building behind the beach. Is this the right way? I don't think he can receive you in here. Oh. Shit. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, Robo Dogs. That's not good. That's a new type of enemy. Oh god, they like got fucking buzz saws on them. That's not nice. Oh, there's another one. Hold on. Oh, there's another one over there. Hold on. Get closer so I can shoot you. Got you. Okay, they're lovely, aren't they? Jesus. It's like the hounds from Surya being hunted just got an upgrade, ladies and gents. Good God. I wonder if um, the devs of this have played Surya being hunted. I'd be curious to know that. If maybe... What was that? I better not have just triggered something nasty. <clears throat> oh god, my voice. My voice is really going today. I don't know what it is. Is it this thing? No, there must be something upstairs or something. Something that's causing or detecting me or something. Hang on, am I supposed to go up or down here? Let's just check. Is down? Is there anything downstairs or? Hmm. Okay, this might just be yeah, bonus stuff. Because that's locked. Uh, oh, I hear you. That must have been what I was hearing. Got ya. There we go. Oh, God. Bad time to reload. Oh, God. There's a fair few of them. Got ya. Oh, wait. You're not dead? Yeah, you're dead now. Okay, the shotgun does feel quite good against those things. Yeah, there's another typewriter. Which, uh, I mean, we just had a save, so... I don't see any real need for it, but I suppose we can always use it if we want to. Is that another battery? Yeah, it is. Good. Yeah, the game does give you plenty of batteries and supplies. Do. Okay, I think there's more of them. Alright, so we do have to go up, basically. I should really keep the flashlight on, since it's so dark in here. Right, where are the other robo-dogs? Where are they? Robo-dogs? The warehouse of the robo-dogs, ladies and gents. That's where we are. Something is knocking around. Oh, hello. There you are. Okay. You're out. There's another one behind you. Got you. Is that all of you, though? That's the question. Okay, just give me plenty of health vials uh, that I don't actually need. Because um, luckily, these dogs are not terribly difficult to have to deal with. Still got uh, full pistol ammo, so don't need to worry about that. And I'm getting bits and bobs in terms of more. I've got even more pistol ammo there that I don't need. All right. Um... Check around, in case there's anything else in these ruins. Okay, I hear you, wherever you're at. You... No, this was where these two were located, who we've killed. <clears throat> God, yeah, my throat is really going a bit. Don't know what that's about. Just feels a bit phlegmy, a bit stuffy and all that. I did have a bit of a sleepless night last night, because I had a bit of a headache. So I had to take uh, some meds, just to, uh, you know, cure that up a bit. A bit of ibuprofen. Or paracetamol or whatever it was. Okay. Ah. Crate over here. Boom. Bitch. Oh, don't need that, but can always come back for it if need be. Shotgun out. How am I doing the SMG-wise? Let's have a look. 96 reserve ammo. That's pretty good. We can use uh, more of that at some point. Oh, God. Right, we're jumping over here. This feels increasingly precarious. That is flooded down there. Um, that's not a good sign. All right. Going this way. Yeah, got to keep moving. It's getting a wee bit spooky over here, isn't it? What's all this? I wonder if these are like track switch controls, maybe? Alright, well this is... Okay, we can open this one. Oh, I see movement. I see the light. That ain't good. 
Oh, there you are. Oh, there's a fair few of you. Ooh. Oof, there we go. All three of you. Now... Ooh! Shit, you're not dead. Christ. Good, you were freaking rearing up to get me there, weren't you? Alright. Oh, we're at full on, um... Full on SMG ammo, so... 98 is the, uh, you know, total reserve by the looks of it. i got to remember, you can also open drawers and cabinets in this. Oh, well, we can go down here. Might as well get that crate. Sure. Oh, can I... Can I get off there, please? Ah, oh, there we are. Sorry, what? Are you upstairs? Probably are, aren't you? Yeah, pistol ammo. I didn't need that. Alright, get me up. Get me back up, please. Where's the doggo that we're hearing? The crazy evil doggo. Crazy robo dog. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. Robots? Yep. Gun robots, by the looks of it. Let's take them all down. Oh, there's a fair few of them. Missed. Maybe? I don't know. I've got that one. Reload. Okay, let's just turn that off to... Oh, I see you. I see you there. I see you. I see you. I see you. Wait, stay still. Stay... You little git. What are you doing? Just stay still, please, so I can shoot you. Oh, god dang it. He keeps moving. All right. You know what? We'll just wait for him to adopt a certain position. I'll just wait for him to come to a position before I shoot him. I don't know. Who are you going to stand there? Are you going to force me to do this? Got yet. There we go. Right, at least we take them out. Oh, there's another one moving now, though. Where are you? Are you around there? There you are. There's a couple of you, in fact. Oh, missed him. God dang, they they do that. They fucking move just as you fire. Because they're absolute a-holes about it. All right. Maybe we should save a bit of uh, the old... Oh, wait a minute. You over there? Yes, you are. Okay, hold it. Oh, no. Okay, I think I got him there. There we are. Do a bit of sniping from the shadows and all that. Alright, uh, maybe use this for a bit. I don't know. Let's see. Any goodies around here for me to pick up? What about the sink? This basin? Machine invasion, of course. Alright. Well, at least we took all them out, because gunners are always a bit of a problem. Oh, anything in here? Oh, no, it's just a weird little empty space with a bit of junk in it. Okay. Anything around the back? Right in the car, maybe? Nah. Anything in this one? Nope. What about this one over here? Nope. Nothing there either. Okay, that's fine. What about under here? Any goodies? Uh, health pot? Don't need. God, my battery is um, getting a bit low. Never thought I'd say this, but my battery isn't doing too good. Oh, God. It's very bright blue, that, down there, isn't it? Well, we can go down, but I don't see anything in there that we want. So I don't think there's any point to... Uh, no point to going in there. Okay. Alright, let's keep moving. we got to go this way. Oh, birds. Hello. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to assume that was meant to happen. And that we didn't just get pitched to our death. Okay, yeah. Open your Brent. eyes. God damn it, Brent! Hello? Oh, wow, that took a lot of my health off. I guess I'm lucky to be alive. At least I got my weapons. <laughs> Imagine if it got rid of my weapons. The bridge has collapsed, I need to find another way into Brent's building. Okay, of course. Video game logic and all that, the bridges always collapse. There's never a straightforward approach and all that. Boom. Give me shotgun shells, thank you very much. Ooh, this thing. Yeah. Oh, is this, oh, is there a battery in there? Thank you very much, I needed that. Ah, there's another one there. Oh no, it's ammo. There's pistol ammo that we don't need. Pistol. I get to me my pistol. Right. We should just switch to this for a bit, then use up some ammo in it, even though there isn't a lot. Okay. This game does have a good way of sort of forcing you just to be a little careful with your ammo sometimes. Uh, nothing in these... Nah, nothing in those. Just check the uh, train carriages. Ah, see, look. There's always boxes to be had. Uh, can I... There we go. I got the health bottle, though. That's good. Now, does this go anywhere, or... No. Looks like there's an invisible barrier. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Prevents us getting sidetracked. Okay, through. And under here. This is where we need to go. God, it's so fucking dark, though, isn't it? Hopefully it's going to give me plenty of batteries. 
Because we are hella gonna need them, alright. But I hear robots straight away through here somewhere. Now where's that opening? That's the question. Oh. Oh, I see what I've got to do here. I've got to build myself a fucking staircase. That's what it wants me to do. Okay. Right, and then go up, of course. Let me just put another box. Oh, God. Yeah, in the corner there. Like that. Can I... Oh, God. It's a weird way of picking them up, but... Alright, put that there. And we can put maybe a box um, on top of this one. Like so. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Alright, maybe not. Fucking hell. This is a bit awkward, isn't it? But at least we got these over here. Okay, hold on. Go up there. Alright, you stay there like that. Can I jump onto you? Maybe not. Oh, maybe? Actually, no. We don't need to put any more up because we can do this. Okay. Again, this is like classic Half-Life though, isn't it? Moving boxes around and props and whatever else have you. Right, go. Up here and through. There we go. We're in. Switch that off. Good. See, we solved that one fairly easily. Ah. Go here then, I guess, and get this crate. What's that? Oh, it's ammo full. Probably more pistol stuff, isn't it? Oh, can I get out, please? There we go. Anything in this minecart? No? This random solitary minecart just hanging out there, doing its thing, doing whatever minecarts do. Funny how the lighting on that door shows up really clearly, even though the area around it's quite dark. Okay. It's locked, though. Anything in the, in the background here? Ah, boxes. Thank God. Uh, battery. Thank you very much. Pistol ammo that I don't need. Alright, I think we'll keep going until we get to the next save point. And then we'll wrap up. There's another gramophone over here. I wonder if that means... Oh. Oh, well, there's the save point right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I think... Actually, I haven't said that. Are we? Are we about 30 minutes in? Actually, no. I'll, for safety's sake, I'm just going to keep going for a bit longer, actually. Just because I can. Okay, we've got rifle cartridges. Something we don't need, because that's more ammo. Gramophone. We don't have a record, though, for it, do we? What's this letter? Building the wall. The 5th of August, 1991. Audio diary of a construction worker. Today, Rosendahl himself came to visit us at the construction site at the West Gate. What an honourable man he is. He all shook our hands, examined all our tools and instruments, double-checked every brick. I do think this wall is unmatched in engineering skill. The precision of the plans and the way it's designed, Rosendahl does hold up to the rumours that exist about him. The wall is now 30 metres tall, just 10 more to go. I don't see a way for Atlas to overcome it. I hope desperate. Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> Gas from your tea coming up my throat. I hope desperately. It's interesting, though, because, um, of course, you know, the original setting for this was, of course, 1989 Berlin. So I wonder if, you know, the wall here is kind of a metaphor for the original Berlin Wall and the idea of trying to keep people out. Because that's the thing, you know. I wonder if there's kind of like a... Um, oh. Well, just as well I saw that key. What's that? Storage key. Okay. Yeah, uh, just as well I noticed that there's a rifle over there. We can pick up two this big lever over here, whatever that does. Whoa, okay. That looks a bit ominous, and there's a few robots hanging around. I imagine if we activate this, it's probably going to, I don't know, <coughs> make a hoist descend or something? I don't know. Bring up a lift or whatever? Let's have a look. Or put the lights on. Down there. Oh, it opens the doors on either side. Okay. Well, that's um, ominous, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. Um, good lord. Yeah, so saying that, I, I get the feeling that, you know, a lot of what's going on here is probably like a big metaphor for um, the Berlin Wall and whatever else have you. <clears throat> In terms of the idea of, like, keeping people apart, or, like, authorities trying to, like, set up narratives so they can keep people divided and things like that, maybe. Maybe that's what's going on in this game. Hey, you. Gonna get you. Bob. You're down. Can we go across here and get this other dude who's hiding? Well, not hiding, he's just sort of there. Inactive. Alright, it looks like we need to go down there, though. That's probably where it wants us to be. Alright, path over there. Ah, hello, hello. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Rifle cartridges, lovely. Should check over the other side in case there's anything we can break over there. I still hear robots knocking around somewhere, wherever they're at. Oh. 
Oh, I, actually, I thought for a second this was something we could activate, but no, nah, it's not. Okay, there's a crate there. That just goes nowhere. So some kind of maybe mine or something under the city? Or maybe we're getting into the city foundations, the foundations of the wall, perhaps. That's what I am, I'm wondering. Where are the robots? I hear them. I hear them knocking around, wherever they're hiding in this area. Oh, there's a fair few boxes down here, isn't there? Okay. Check everything before we start activating any levers or whatever. Uh, yep, stuff over here, that's good. More shotgun shells, more ammo, bits and bobs, that's great. I hope I'm not being geared up for something here. Some weird noises in the background, it's probably just creaking. Creaking bits and bobs. Oh, hello, I see you over there. You're the person that I'm hearing. Oh, wow. Didn't take you out in one shot from that range. It's a bit alarming, isn't it? Okay. It's over here. In the darkness. More crates. Good. Come here. Got it. Shotgun shells. I'm getting so many shotgun shells, it's really good. Because I think the shotgun is just a great weapon overall, to be honest. What's uh, up this um, this ramp up here? Let's have a look. Ramp? Staircase, even. Where does this take us out? Is there something going on in here that we can look at? Ah. Oh, another area. Okay, can we activate this thing? No. Well, there are health pots, shotgun shells, battery, crates for us to bust open. Uh, don't need anything there, that's fine. Anything around this side. It takes us around over here, but where does this go? Another staircase. Oh, it takes us back over here. Okay. Right, we need to go down to the central area then, by the looks of it. And probably trigger that lever that's lit up. It's probably using the light to say, hey, you need to come over here. This is where you need to be. Wait, this thing. Yep. Yeah. New di uh, diary entry. There are two control rooms I need to reach in order to get the elevator running. Okay. Right. Oh, get rid of that. Okay, maybe the control rooms are the things up on either side. Uh, oh, is that something there? Oh, no, that's just a clipboard or something. Alright. Ah, alright. Lighting the place up, I see. So I need to go upstairs and sort that out then. So maybe now we can activate the levers in either control room. I just need to go down there and do that, I guess. Alright, activate this one maybe? Yes, there we go. So we've already been up there and we've already cleared out the crates. Let's go to the one on the other side. Hear all kinds of machine noises. Oh, hello there. I see you. Hold on. Get out of it. Okay, he's flaming. I see you. Come on. Oh, God. Don't you dare. You might as well use a bit of pistol ammo for those weaker enemies. Oh, hello. Come on. Right, you run off. You'll die. Oh, God, there's another dude over there. He's probably a gunner. Need to be a little careful. Oh, here he comes. Oh, there's a fucking robot behind me that blew up. Shit, I didn't even notice that. Okay, health pot. Thank you. Oh, oh. God, I don't like the noises you lot. Oh, shit. Get out of it. Okay, they're all coming out. This is bad. I need to watch out. Okay, fuck it. Over here. Over here, over here, over here. There's more movement. Okay, you're over there. That's fine. Jesus. They sound horrible in this area. They echo, don't they? Is that another bomb bot? That is another bomb bot. Oh god, hold on. Oh shit. Get out of it, you bugger. Oh, hello. Shit. God lord. God, they better not be constantly respawning here. Come on, get out of it. There's a fair few of them coming out. That's the bad news. Alright, shotgun. Oh, there you are. I see you down there. Yeah. I shouldn't be shooting it from this range. I'm not doing much damage. God, they make horrible noises though. Those blade equipped ones when they charge at you. Okay, hold on. Got you. Alright, he's coming as well. God, the way their arms move though. Jesus, how many of them are there? Are they just constantly respawning? Maybe I just need to go. Ooh! You little shit. What are you doing? Got you. Okay, over here. Get to this control room. I think this is the most robots we've ever faced all at once in this game, isn't it? He's running along there. Okay, just let him do his thing. He'll have to come in order to get to me. Get the ammo. All the stuff. Nice. Right. Friggin' this dude over here should be uh, coming along at some point. Let me activate this thing. Oh, is he coming? Nice, oh, the warning light. Oh, here he comes. 
He's coming. He's coming for me. Got ya. There we go. God, the shotgun is so good. So dang good. Right, I think we need to get, yeah, up and over there. Oh god. Oh my god, there's a fair few bomb bots around, isn't there? Jesus. Alright, you just come on up here. Got ya. There we go. Need to try and get across to that main area back up, you know, back upstairs. Um, without being blown up or anything. Oh, hello. Right, he's gonna come. Hold on. Oh! Jesus. Took his head off and he's just still coming at me. Good lord. Oh god. Err. Uh. Luckily, you can uh, only load a couple of shells in this if need be. Just so that, that way you're not being. Uh... Oh my god, so many fucking bomb bots! Oh shit. Got ya. Right, time to keep moving. Gotta go up here. Oh, I see you there, mate. Got you. We're going up here. Oh, hello. Shit. Wow, okay. The sound didn't play for a second then. That was weird, but... Are they coming out of these tunnels? It feels like they are. Right, we just go over here. I feel like they are constantly respawning here. Oh, wait, does that not work? Do I have to take out all the enemies first or something? Is that what it wants me to do? Okay, hold on. Come on, do your worst. Oh, I see you there, mate. Go on, get down. Oh, here comes the other one. Shit. Crap. And you. Oh, ow. Oh, God, that hurt. That didn't feel good. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, sorry about that. Friggin' weird jump cut there. Friggin' colleagues just messaging me on his teams. Which is uh, not really what you need, but what can you do? Okay, I feel like we just have to take out all the enemies here, I think. Unless I'm getting it wrong. Because there's this dude over here. Oh god, but there's more of them coming down there now. Where are they all coming from? I don't know. Alright, there's another bomb bot. Or maybe it's just the only one left, I don't know. Actually, I haven't said that, maybe not, because I hear another one. Ooh, shit! Stop that! Get out of it. Oh, there's another one over there. It's one of those running ones. Yeah, I feel like they're on a constant respawn here. I don't know. Um, because I can't do anything with this. Now, I've activated both levers at either end, so... I can't... Mm, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe I'm just wasting my ammo. Okay, go. Just fucking... Oh, God. Shit. Bomb bot. No. Oof. You miss me, bud. You miss me, you little git. Oh, shit. There's another one coming. Okay, hold on. Right, don't waste shells, don't waste them. Maybe we need to hit these off um, one after the other real quick. Maybe that's it. Maybe I've got to be real fast about it. Oh god, health pot, just give me that. Oh, enemies coming. Enemies in non route. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for it. Just try and ignore the enemies as best as you can, Red. Just get up there. He is right fucking behind me! Shit! Oh, come on! I shot you first, you git! Fuck! Is he dead? No, he's not. Okay, hit that. Oh, do I have to get it in in time? That's probably it, isn't it? Whilst the alarm's going. That's no doubt what it is. Go on, go on, go! Go, 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 go! Yes, got it! There we go! Oh! Okay, so it's a timed puzzle. The robots must be on a constant respawn, like I say. And you just have to get, you know, both levers triggered and then into the elevator before shit hits the fan, basically. All right. Um, I'm hoping it gives me maybe a save here at this point, because uh, I feel like we could do with one, perhaps. Okay. Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted the... Oh, no, ram I was full for the rifle. Okay, that's good. We do need... Um, Batteries, though. That's what we do need. Uh, anything back there? Not by the looks of it. Okay. Ah, there might be stuff in here, though. Oh, there's a save point in here. That's the good news. Actually, we'll get this first. Okay, right. Well, in that case, since we've reached a save point, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Um, so this was episode six of uh, Industria, ladies and gentlemen. A few little jump cuts in that just because um, of MS Teams and whatever else have you. And as the music comes in, we'll wrap up. So as usual, links to my social media and propagandist channel down in the video description if you're interested. And if, you know, if you enjoyed, I hope you'll join me for part seven. So, goodbye, everybody. Okay, well, I did take two 
that's not the longest puzzle. We've had to fence. So, that's not the test. Okay, there we go. We've got the forces out. So, get a bit ready for whatever is hopefully waiting for us. It's gateway. Let's have a look. Yes, that is a fucking big golden missile by the looks of it, with a big firing chair in front of it or something. These fucking controls down here, look at all this! Look at all this! What is all this? I mean, that's the one thing I will give Rob. For a 2003 game, some of the stuff, some of the scenery is fascinating to look at, even if the game itself sometimes is a bit ridiculous. Alright, what are we doing here?